You're welcome back to the business dashboard on City TV to some other stories. Now, while the receiver of the collapse savings and loans and microfinance companies claims to have paid majority of customers whose funds were locked up, some others who are yet to be paid are accusing government of undue delays. According to some agitated customers in the Ashanti region, government has failed on its numerous deadlines to make payments, making life unbearable for them. Correspondent Hafiz Tijani reports from Kumasi. The over 500 customers from different defunct savings and loans companies gathered to strategize on what will be the next line of action after the July payment deadline was not fulfilled by the government. Although the majority of them have gone through the validation exercise, they are yet to get back their investments. The project is ongoing, but right now, no, it's standstill because of the money have been locked in the bank. So we are appealing to the government that it should help us to release this, all this pressure from us. For members to know that not our, we elders or the leaders of the church have been used that money for nothing. I know whatever they are saying, there's no truth in it. From three months ago, they started telling us, end of April, we will pay. End of May, end of June, July, Every ending, they have something to tell us because they know we have a plan to come to Accra and demonstrate. So every ending, they have a plan to tell us. I am a waitress of one of the hotels in Kumasi here and I started saving at first alight. My take home as a salary is less than 350 Ghana cities, but I do save because I want to better my life. And one day, I wake up one day and my money is gone. All I'm pleading to the government is that I need my money because the hotel that I work with, the hotel is not working again. So I'm in a house and I need my money. I am a teacher and then we decided to come together as a group to save something for ourselves because of frequently we go to banks for loan. We decided that that is not the best. So we decided to put something for, do something for ourselves. We contribute every month and we manage to save a lot. So we decided that once and we will loan the money to ourselves. So we decided to keep the money with first alight and ask when we need it, we go for it. All of a sudden, that money is gone. Former President John Dramani Mahama recently promised to pay monies of all affected customers if he is voted for in the upcoming general elections. For most of these customers, the former president's pronouncements are convincing. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> No, I may say, I see, and history will repeat itself. Over to yes, can I have your crown or sell over Lucy? Now, December 2020, our money will determine our blood, our blood, our money. At another location in Kumase, members of the coalition of aggrieved men's gold customers also held a similar meeting. Francis Owusu is one of the leaders of the group. Uh, we gather today as a group to discuss the message that came out last last week from the former president John Dramani Mahama. As a matter of fact, uh, it's a welcoming news for men's good customers. And as you can clearly see, more of us accept the message as a hope. Because at a point, men's good customers, we didn't know when and how we are even going to get back our investment. But ever since JM made that uh, remarks that come December 7th, if we give him our mandate, he's going to ensure that customers of men's go get our investment. It's a very, very big relief for us. And 
we are going to throw our weight behind him as customers and as a leadership behind me are aggrieved customers of the funds savings and loans companies they say they are disappointed in the government for not honoring its promise of paying back their locked up funds they have however threatened to vote against the mpp government if their monies are not paid to them before the 2020 general elections from Kumasi in the Ashanti region, I am Hafiz Tijani for City News. Yeah.